Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 5863, the Federal Disaster Tax Relief Act, introduced by my Ways and Means Committee colleague, Representative Greg Stubbe of Florida. This legislation was approved last year by the Ways and Means Committee 38 to 0 because families and communities across the country who suffered disasters need support. In fact, bipartisan support for this legislation was so strong that it was approved a second time by the Ways and Means Committee as part of the Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act. This legislation not only helps victims of disasters, but also provides broad and immediate tax relief for American workers, farmers, families, and small businesses, which is why the House of Representatives passed it with 84% support earlier this year. I encourage my Senate colleagues to take up that legislation to support disaster victims and help the millions of Americans treading water in today's economy. The Federal Disaster Tax Relief Act provides assistance to communities across the country, bringing relief to those recovering and rebuilding after tragic floods and tornadoes, like those that affected communities in my home state of Missouri in the winter of 2021 and the summer of 2023. Hurricanes like Hurricane, I, Hurricane Inn that claimed countless lives in Florida. Wildfires like those that devastated communities in California and Hawaii. And the train derailment and toxic chemical spill in East Palestine, Ohio. I want, I want to commend Representative Stubbe for his leadership on this issue. His passion started with his desire to provide help to the families he represents who were devastated by the hurricane. But in the interest of getting this done, he broadened his relief effort to include over 300 storms and 45 states. I encourage all of my colleagues to vote yes on this bill so that we are standing with and supporting our fellow neighbors when they are most in need. I reserve.